brings up a topic I want to talk about. FDA. I want to talk about the FDA, the right to try. Right to try, by the way, allows patients who are dying, only if they're dying, uh, to use experimental FDA drugs. It still requires a whole process, and it's still cumbersome and difficult and nowhere near as easy as it should be. But it's better than it was before, and Trump gets credit for that. But that does bring up the FDA, and the FDA just put up this week uh, new standards for the production, uh, production of home kits for testing for COVID. You'll be able to uh, uh, test at home. You'll be able to get uh, results within minutes rather than within days or weeks. Uh, it'll be easy, no pinprick, no, but all at home. Everything will happen at home. And there are companies that wanted to offer this a couple of months ago, and the FDA stopped it. Now they've actually put out a plan, the criteria for what they would approve in terms of hope kits. And from what I've seen, the companies are basically saying, you're insane. With these kind of requirements, it'll never be profitable, never be commercial, never be possible for us to produce the kits. That'll happen sometime next year, maybe. I mean, the idea would be, ideally, to lower the cost to about a dollar a test. A dollar a test. And it is possible. But the FDA wants these to be too good. Something can be too good. For example, if you make the test kit super, uh, super accurate, so it can test very low viral loads. That would be, wow, that would be amazing. But that would be really expensive and very difficult to put in a home kit. Even the commercial kits that are out there have a hard time doing it. But you could make a pretty cheap one that only detected very high viral loads. But when, are you inf when, are you, when can you infect other people? Now, when you have a low viral load, when you have a, a high viral load, so why not give people the option of testing themselves and when they have a high viral load, they would know not to go out, not to interact with other people, isolate themselves. Low viral load with social distancing and all that, no big deal. Things like that. Things that have to do with logic and common sense and taking account how people use something and some, you know, the kind of logic and common sense that markets produce the kind of products that markets create that don't have to be perfect by the standard of some central planner, but are good enough. Good enough. So we're probably not going to get home kits. Again, we probably could have had them two months ago. We're probably not going to get home kits because of the FDA. And of course, this is just one minor concern I have with the FDA. You know, the FDA even with the now right to try uh, law, the FDA is responsible for the deaths of thousands or hundreds of thousands of potentially millions of people every year because of the cost that it loads up on drugs. It makes it so difficult to produce. Now, look, somebody would have to, there'd have to be some screening of drugs. They wouldn't just go to market. You would have to test them and screen them and so on. And, and doctors wouldn't prescribe drugs unless they were tested and so on. But imagine if that were done in a competitive market. Imagine the cost savings. And also, imagine if people had the option, not just dying people, but all people had the option of evaluating the risks that they were willing to take. Instead of just saying, oh no, it causes, in 10% of patients, it causes heart disease, drug X, Patient being able to say, but you know what? It helps so much my other problems that I'm willing to take the risk of, high, of heart disease that 10% of patients incur. And another patient would say, you know what? That risk of heart disease really, really scares me. I'm not willing to take it. Imagine putting the decision on a doctor and a patient, on individuals, rather than on a bureaucratic entity that has all, all the wrong incentives. Now, I don't believe 
that it would be drug companies selling directly to doctors and there would, I, I truly believe there would be a privatized, a private equivalent to the FDA. Because you don't want a situation in which one rogue drug company, and you do want standards of testing. But I think the standards of testing would be determined competitively. There would be labs that test drugs that would do the equivalent of phase one, phase two, phase three testing. Some of it would be done by the company, and somebody would, some of it would be done by the labs. The labs would then review the results presented to it. The labs get it presented to them. They would evaluate it. They would review it. They would test it. And they would give doctors a rating of how, what they think this drug is good for, what they think the risks are, and they would let doctors decide. And labs might even give the drug an F. And they would let doctors know, it's got an F, I wouldn't use it. And my guess is that doctors would pay for this service, rather than drug companies. Because doctors are the ones that have the strongest incentive to have accurate information about the drugs that they are prescribing to their patients. And you could imagine a whole insurance liability structure that would make this function in a way that did not create negative incentives. But that requires imagination, and that, you know, that's the beauty of free markets, is they do these things. These things are created. Entrepreneurs come up with ideas. They build, they create, they produce. The FDA is just an obstacle for all of that. A one-size-fit-all, bureaucratic, nightmarish institution that basically not just does it make drug development super expensive, but it makes some drugs just not worth the while of companies to produce because of the risk that they not get approved and because of the cost involved. I mean, I think the same would happen with food, with a lot of things. You'd have middlemen who would work for the grocery stores inspecting the agricultural produce that they were buying rather than a government agency, and probably wouldn't be something supermarkets did themselves. I think you'd have a whole field, a whole industry develop that would basically, a private sector industry that would replace what the FDA does today. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes, that should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. It, all it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals. Uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully, you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.